So this morning, I really saw a very impressive keynote from Steve Herrick. It was much more than just data center virtualization and much more about the user and the applications that they want to use. I'm here together with Sam from the Project Octopus. Uh, Sam, what is Project, Project Octopus all about? Project Octopus is about giving end users the ability to access their files from anywhere they go on any device and then gives them the ability to share that data with anybody inside or outside the company. So how does that relate to like a, a Dropbox that most people are familiar with? Yeah, I think a lot of people love using Dropbox, uh, except IT is really frustrated with it because it doesn't give them the capability to govern how the users use it. It doesn't give them provisioning capabilities, integrated authentication capabilities, etc. So I guess this is like what we've done with SocialCast, made a, uh, an enterprise version of Facebook. This is like the enterprise version of a Dropbox. That's exactly right. Uh, we've, we've tailored Octopus to be for IT. Uh, IT can actually run it on-prem, which is a huge differentiator and something you can't do with something like Dropbox. Uh, and we've add, added a bunch of policies so that IT can govern how users use the system. So it sounds very exciting. I would love to see it. Is it possible? I mean, so you have all kinds yeah. of devices? Yeah, yeah. We have, so on the screen we have the Octopus web client. Uh, if you invite external users to come and access your documents, they'll be invited to the web experience. Uh, we're not showing the sync agents, but we have sync agents for Mac, Windows, and Linux. Uh, down here we have an iPad client and our Android client. And what this does, we're logged into my account. Uh, this is my real live account. Uh, all my documents are available. You can see across the different devices, they're all there. Uh, in the web client, we have a basic file manager. Here's a shared folder that I have access to. Uh, here's a specification. You can see that I can access the documents in high fidelity right there in the browser without requiring uh, you know, the native application to do that. Uh, additionally, all the files are versioned on the system, so you can see previous versions of the documents. And again, that's controlled by policy, so uh, IT can dictate how many versions we keep, how much data is used for versions, or if versions should go on slower storage versus faster storage. And then to make it so that you never have to email your documents around, we've given you the capability to have your conversations close to the context of the document in this case by adding the comments panel here. And then finally, for every document, you can choose to mark it as important by clicking this star. Uh, that gives you the capability to follow the document. Uh, the first thing it does is give you bookmark access to it, so it's important you can get to it very quickly across all your devices. The other thing it does is if it's a shared folder or a shared document, as people update it or make modifications or reshare it, it'll notify you in real time on your devices through email or SMS based on your settings. And I can uh, read those documents, not just on a web browser, but on my Android phone and on my yes, iPad as well? Right. So if, let me pull up the same document here on the iPad. You can see that we provide the same high fidelity preview on the iPad. Uh, this is great now when I go into meetings, I don't have to take my bulky laptop. All my documents are with me and I can just plug my, lap, my iPad into uh, the projector and present from my iPad. So you say this is hosted from your own data center, so what does it require from an infrastructure? Is this a virtual appliance? Is it software you have to install? So Project Octopus today is a technology preview. When it becomes available, you will be able to get it uh, as an OVF so you can deploy it. Uh, on a private cloud, or you can deploy it on a public cloud. You can consume it however you like. You have complete deployment flexibility. Uh, and then down the road, we will have hybrid deployments as well. So if there's uh, really critical data you want to have behind the firewall, you can have that. But then the, the more common data that maybe is not so sensitive, you can have in a public cloud deployment. Is there any uh, offline usage possible with these files as well? Yes, absolutely. The sync agents that run on the traditional laptops and desktops replicate all the data in the cloud to your machines. So uh, you'll pick a folder, all the data will be synchronized to that folder. You can open a file, edit it. When you save it, uh, the agent will recognize that the, mod the document has been modified. It'll replicate those changes to the, to the cloud, and then now a new version of the document is created and is available to you or whoever you shared it to across all their devices. Sounds very interesting, but I think most uh, people would like to know, when is this available? First half of next year. Okay, well, thank you very much, and I look forward to, to using this. All thank right, you. Make sure to go to vmwareoctopus.com to sign up for the beta and let us know that you're interested. Okay. Thank you very much, Sam.